Please join me in welcoming Governor Linda Lingo. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. It's great to be back. Uh, Pat and I were speaking when I arrived, and we said, it must be age, because it seems as if the year has passed so quickly. We were here together one year ago, and it hardly seems possible. It's a blink of an eye. Life is moving forward. And as I shared with my table today, I think it's just an exciting time to be alive, generally, with so much that's going on. And I want to touch on some of it today. But let me thank your president, Pamela Tumpop, for inviting me back your board chair, Bill Russell, and all the members of the Maui Chamber of Commerce. You know, I think sometimes when you're involved in an endeavor such as the Chamber of Commerce, you're so close to it that you really don't recognize your own importance. And I wanted to start with that today. Before I recognize a couple of other people, I want you to know the significance of the Maui Chamber of Commerce. And I want to put it in real concrete terms to you. And I decided to add this to my address when I saw this morning's Maui News. I don't know if any of you saw the Maui News. And you know, I'm a journalist by background, so I'm very interested in things such as story selection and headlines that are written and what sort of caption a photo has and why you chose a certain photo and all the details of putting together a publication. But this morning's really struck me as something I need to raise with you, because I, I read the whole paper early this morning, sitting up in Kula. It was about 60 degrees or so. It was beautiful. And front page story with a picture of one of our elected representatives from Maui, a story that said, let's farm marijuana, and Maui's the place to do it. <laughs> this was a front page story. Did you guys see this story? OK. Now, let, let's just deconstruct that story being on that front page for, for just a minute. And it's not a commentary on putting it there, because I think it is quite fascinating that with all the issues facing our county here in Maui, it's fascinating that our representative is talking about growing marijuana on a farm. I might have selected it as an oddity, you know, to put it there to capture people's attention. But the fact is, that bill will never pass. If it ever passes, I would veto the bill. They would never override the veto. So that will never occur. So it's meaningless to our lives overall going forward. <clears throat> now, inside, two or three pages later, there is a very significant story of which Pam mentioned is one of your priorities, pages later, about the lack of medical people on the island of Maui. And we know this is a neighbor island issue all across the state. It has many reasons that it's occurring now. But there is a serious issue about having enough and the right kind of medical care on Maui. We lived through the Malulani situation. We have other issues of medical care that we need to deal with. And here it was, hidden inside you. You wouldn't even know what it was really all about. And they did talk about medical malpractice reform or tort reform, as, as Pam brought up. Now, why did that motivate me to want to share with you the importance of your organization? 
Because if you are a citizen of Maui and you get your news from the Maui News or you get it from Honolulu Television or you get it from national television, you're really not going to know what are the most important issues facing you as a parent, as a business person, as a, a resident of Maui. And so the Chamber of Commerce is a very critical information provider. And I get a lot of your material, your, your newsletter, all of your columns you write for newspapers. These are very important because people are so busy today, they rely on others to tell them what's most important in life. If we watched CNN, and that's where we got most of our news, we'd figure that Britney Spears really affected our life. <laughs> so the Chamber's worth is their ability to communicate with you as a member and with this community to make certain that we don't lose focus, that our attention is not distracted by things that will never impact our lives one way or the other. And the Chamber of Commerce was such a big help to me in my effort to get the unemployment insurance tax lowered. And you know it just went into effect this January. And now we're going to all kind of take it for granted, but I don't want to take it for granted. We tried for three years. We had the highest taxable wage base in the nation. At the same time, we had the lowest unemployment for three years running. It was ridiculous. We had built up over a half a billion dollars in that fund. We couldn't use it for anything else because the feds won't let us, thankfully. But we also knew we could meet our obligations to pay unemployment for those who found themselves without a job, but we didn't have to overburden businesses. And so this month, January, will be the first month that that wage base was substantially lowered and over the three-year period that they gave us, in the law, we of course wanted it permanent, we wanted it a lower wage base, but for three years it will save businesses $150 million and it affects every business in the state and you were a big part of me being able to achieve that and I wanted you to know that today. So you should feel very good about this organization.